Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. It is Thanksgiving here in the US and I'm about to head out to enjoy just an ungodly portion of pumpkin pie and eggnog. I'm a sucker for sweets, I can't resist. Anyways, before I do, I want to not only wish you all a happy and safe Thanksgiving weekend, but also talk a bit about the whole two tokens and a blue situation. It's been slow roasting in my mind for the past day or so, not unlike tonight's Thanksgiving turkey, and I have a few thoughts on the matter. Also, some details on how you can nab yourself this sweet new emblem. Let's jump into it. On Tuesday, we had our second reveal stream where Bungie showed us some of the new activities. They took us through a new adventure through the Infinite Forest and showed us the longest and most intricate public event to date. They also showed us the weapon forging system, which is essentially a material gathering quest. And that's about it. I know they didn't tell us they were going to go over anything other than that, but it still left a lot of us disappointed. Not only that, but there's been a bit of an outcry from the community in reference to the rewards shown particularly the two tokens and a blue that were gathered from the new public event, which host and community manager Deej referred to as the most rewarding public event yet. Now, he's not technically wrong. It is the most things we've ever received from a public event. They usually grant you one token, but I think this just stirred back up some frustrations that the community, including me, is feeling towards the loot and reward system as a whole, mainly the new token system introduced with Destiny 2. To me, tokens are simply reputation, at least that's how I saw it in the beginning. Instead of showing us an increase in reputation on the screen, you get an actual item, which then you have the freedom to use with any of your characters. In a bubble, it's a good system, it's a bit more tangible, and it makes sense. However, at this point especially, I don't think it works well as the core of the loot system. Reputation was an extra add-on bonus in Destiny 1. You still had a full stock of weapons and armor that you could plan around and purchase directly packages were the icing on the cake. It was cool when you got a reward package, and it was nice to be able to dump surplus materials and currencies into it. However, it only worked because of the randomization of the weapon perks. It was sort of like a loot box in that sense. Also, engrams and packages are no longer divided into weapons and armor separately, so there's no way to plan or strategize your loot gains, except for the gunsmith who you know only has weapons, and Ikora who you know only has armor. I'm going to make a bold statement here, and that is that if Destiny 2 wants to maintain a dedicated endgame player base, they need randomized rolls on weapons, or some other way to make different copies of the same weapon special. Maybe something more exciting with the mods. And we already know that's something that Christopher Barrett and his live team are working to fix. Maybe it could be something as simple as having a variant of the Solar Damage mod, adding Dragonfly to give it the Firefly effect, something along those lines. I'm not really sure but I would rather them give us randomized perks and then nerf a few later on than punish the entire weapon system as a whole, which really does now feel like what they've done. I have complete faith that Bungie will not only respond to this sooner than later, but will start implementing a fix for this, but come Monday morning, they might be up for some damage control. Anyways, I don't want to get too heavy into this right now. I'm personally holding off complete judgment until we see the third stream. However, Bungie has only mentioned sandbox tuning and gear. Here's hoping that they address quality of life and the token system as well. I would love to see Christopher Barrett back in the hot seat. In other news, Bungie is featuring a pretty incredible new Darkest Day emblem that you can get your hands on when you purchase anything from the Bungie store between Friday and Monday. Physical item purchases will also come with a tote bag and a sticker sheet so this might be a good excuse to get a few things that you've been holding off on. I know I will. Aside from that, Iron Banner is in full effect, and I have to say I'm having a much better time with Clash. You don't have to constantly try to remind people that multiple people standing on a control point does nothing. Please go cover my flanks for crying out loud. Finally, before I go, I want to, of course, wish another happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching who celebrates it. But I also want to give a huge thanks to the designers and developers at Bungie and all other studios working tirelessly on Destiny 2. I think I can speak for at least a few members of our community when I say that you have all created something truly incredible. The moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, the sounds, the music, the artwork, and everything else is truly top-notch and awe-inspiring. We love Destiny 2, and we just want this game and the franchise as a whole to live up to the absolutely incredible potential that it has. To spin the conversation a little bit, we just want more excuses to keep playing the game, and that's a pretty good place to be in. 
Anyways, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this topic. Let's discuss. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.